All right, we got a shorted hard drive motherboard. And this is how we're gonna find the short. First set the multimeter to resistance. And check that the leads are, that the multimeter zeros, like it does right now. Now what we do is we just put one of the leads in the negative. And then with the other one, we test the other rails, that is the yellow wire and the red wire to see which one's gonna show us the short circuit. Obviously if I put on the black wire, it's gonna show it's short circuit because the two black wires are connected on the board. But if I touch it to let's say the red, it shouldn't. And just give me a reading. But after a while you can see that it's not short. Now I can try it on the yellow wire. And you can actually see that it's shortened. And that shouldn't be the way it So, now we have to find how the wires, or where the wires lead to from this connector to the board. So I'm gonna plug one in here. And you can actually kind of see where it's you know, the yellow wire is going this way. It's probably this one. And you one way to tell is with the multimeter, see how it zeroes out. That means this is the wire that's leading to it. So, and obviously we have to also find the negative wire. So I have the lead here in the negative wire. And then I'm gonna check which one's the negative. So as you can see, it just goes pretty low. So that's a ground. And then this is also ground. And then this one here is not connected. As you can see, this is a place for a orange wire, but it's not connected. So it's not gonna show us any resistance. So now we have that the, basically the yellow wire is these three pins over here. And the ground is these two, these three pins over here, and the one over here. So we're trying to find and see which, which one of the components that are connected on the 12 volt rail are shorting the ground. The 12 volt rail is the yellow wire. So what we're going to do, uh, let's put one on, on the negative. They, they should be showing shorted basically, and they are. And most of the time, it's these ceramic capacitors that you know around the board they can short out, or the diodes. There's like protection diodes and other things. So, I mean, the one way troubleshoot is just start removing them one by one. That is the components that reach shorted, and you pretty much do that until you until the short is gone between the yellow wire and the black wire. And that's it.